What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode I'm gonna share with you how to do some smooth parallax animations for your website design projects using Adobe XD. There's nothing cooler than scrolling down the page and seeing awesome parallaxy animations. So today, let's get parallaxy. All right, let's dive right into our project. I have Adobe XD open and I have a website that I've designed. Just a simple wine website, like kind of high-end, kind of cool. It's got a dark interface with some branding, this whole hero top section over here. It's got a value proposition or a call to action and then it has these cool wine cards and a footer. And we want to create some sort of smooth scrolling animation that has that parallax effect. How do you do that? How do we present that and hand that off to our clients or our development teams so they can see what that smooth parallax animation should look and feel like? Well, a really simple way to do that is to think about it as being in the browser window. And so we wanna make sure that this artboard, even though our website is this tall or this high, uh, we wanna put it back to a 1920 by 1080 artboard. Now when we zoom back out, you can see that all of our elements have basically jumped off the page. And so before we did that, what we should have done is we should have come in and actually grabbed everything. You can see in our layers panel, we have this header and we have this value prop and this, these cards and that footer. We should have grabbed all those elements and grouped them together and titled that something like website. Now when we go back and change the height of our artboard to 1080, everything, even though it's extending off of the artboard, everything is still staying intact, it's there. The next thing we wanna do is drag another version of this artboard over. And we wanna think about where we'd like to scroll to. Now, this isn't a perfect solution where as you're scrolling, you're seeing everything happen, but we can trigger an animation to show some of that smooth animation. So, we can take that entire website group that we just created, and we can come over here and just move up that group to maybe a place where we could start seeing some other elements on the page, like for instance, our wine cards um, and our value proposition. So we could do something like that, or maybe you just wanna focus on a single element at a time, and then we can trigger another animation that goes down to the wine cards. That's totally doable. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come over after you've created that second artboard, you're gonna to wanna to come over and you're gonna to wanna to create the before state of the elements that are gonna come into view. So for instance, this call to action is gonna come into view. What do we wanna do? We wanna bring the text down and grab the opacity of that and bring that down. We want the button maybe to also come down and maybe the opacity of that will go out. We'll grab these elements, these grapes, these and this corkscrew, these illustrations. Let's move those off to the side. Then when they come into view, they will have animated into view. But we also have these other elements on top that we wanna be thinking about. So let's go ahead and grab our wine bottle and let's shoot that straight up and our text, let's shoot that off and out to the side. Now keep in mind, all of these things are grouped so they can span way far off the artboard and we still keep them contained in that group element. The next thing you have to do is just go to your first artboard, head up to your prototype tab and select the artboard itself and prototype over to the next artboard. We don't want on tap, we want game and keypad and we want the down arrow. So we've selected that down arrow as our trigger for game and keypad. We wanna auto animate over to our second artboard, and I like ease in, ease out for this, and let's make it something nice and long, like three seconds. Now, all we have to do is animate our way back from the artboard to artboard using game and keypad, and this time we'll hit the up trigger. Make sure we do up there, and all of these settings should be the same. Now when we come in and press play, we should get on a tap of our arrow, really smooth parallax animation. All the pieces are kind of coming into play. We can hit up and go back on our website and now we have smooth animation that's showing parallax effects, transforms, opacity, all of that is popping into place and it's working really, really smooth. Now we can do some really fun work with some 3D animations and the way we would do that is by just grabbing our other artboard here, let's break the prototype that we had for it, head back to our design tab, and let's move these elements into place. Now, let's keep these 
these wine cards actually down just a little bit longer, shall we? We'll just grab all three of them and keep them down. And then when this moves up into place, they'll all be exactly where they need to be. Now let's also take, where did our thing of cheese go? We have a cheese illustration in there. Let's take that cheese illustration and move it out to the side. And then these will now pop into place. Let's also, while we're here, just add some 3D transforms to each of these. So I'm gonna click my first card and I'm gonna head over to my inspector panel and turn on 3D transforms. We can either manipulate the controls here or we can just use our gizmo that's on our screen to affect each one of these cards like so. And now we'll get some 3D animation here as well. Let's head back to prototype and we'll do that same prototype that goes here using our down key. And let's go ahead and head back to our middle artboard by pressing the up key. We should now be able to come over here and turn on our little home and we have a flow. We can just call this parallax, something like that. Let's press play. Let's try it one more time. We'll press down on our keyboard. We get the fir our first parallax animation and time for our second one to press down. We get all of our elements shooting up and parallax animating into place. Let's go up. We can see all of those heading down and up one more time. And there you go. You have some smooth parallax animation with some 3D transforms thrown in just to add a little bit of pizzazz. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do tons of videos about design and development and Adobe XD just like this one. So maybe stick around. And if you're interested, consider hitting that join button, becoming a member as either a supporter or an insider where you'll get this design file, every other design file that I make, as well as behind the scenes and early access to my videos. Hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and wowing your clients with a little bit of parallax animation. I'll see you in the next one.